Hi, I'm Finley, and welcome to our project presentation. We've chosen to proceed with the project Tomorrow's Tech Today. In this short video, we're going to be explaining why we chose this project and showing you what we've done. Hi, I'm Finley, and I'm 13, and I'm the team leader in this project. My favourite part of STEAM is engineering. This is because I really love building stuff, but I also like incorporating science and maths. I'm taking part in this project because I'd love to improve my skills. These could be STEAM skills or more like team skills. I love this STEAM project and I found it really interesting and fun to do, so thanks Industrial Cadets. Hi, I'm Ed and I'm 12 years old. Um, I'm part of this STEM project because I like technology and science and finding out what the world's going to be like in the future. Um, I'm Enjoy science because it's logical. Hi, I'm you. I'm 12 years old. When I leave school, I want to become an architect. I've chosen to take part in this project because I would like to bring some tech to the group and try out something new. I think I will learn how to build lots of new things. I, the thing I like about STEAM is the technology and the engineering aspects. I think they are interesting. My favourite part about STEAM is technology. Hi, my name is Anna, I'm 13 and I really enjoy art and design. So that's why I wanted to take part in this project. And I thought it would be really beneficial for my team skills um, because I was working around my friends during this. And I also want to be an architect when I'm older because I really, as I said, enjoy art and design and also things to do with computing. Hi, my name is Isabel and I'm 13 and I decided to take part in this project. I love art and design and I'd like to develop my like, STEM skills more for STEAM. Um, this project will really help me with my like, teamwork and um, brainstorming sort of thinking outside the box ideas. Right then, here are our main ideas. We have a few others that are external, but one of them is a water filter. And this connects to water coming from your gutter, your bathroom, your kitchen, wherever, so that you can reuse most of your water and there's only minimal waste here. Another one is piezoelectricity. Um, this is on the floor, and so whenever you step, you generate electricity for your home. A third idea is solar panels. These go on your roof, and when the sun is shining, it generates quite a lot of electricity. Also, we thought of some gym equipment and um, health ideas. So we have a treadmill, we have a smart fridge that lets you know how many calories you've eaten, what food you've taken, and also a bike similar to a peloton bike that can connect and tell you your heart rate, your blood sugar, and basically let you know how many more calories you need to burn given what you've eaten. Um, also, we have reusable battery appliances that you can stick onto your wall so you don't have to throw away batteries. To build our model, we used a six millimeter plywood and glued and nailed it together. We had two separate sides the linear and current technologies of a normal house. So we introduced the idea of piezoelectricity uh, in our model and we decided it would be quite beneficial because it's a way of generating energy in the house and we can put it in the floor. So piezoelectricity is where you step and when you apply pressure it generates electricity and obviously it doesn't create a huge amount of electricity but of energy but it can help contribute to the energy supply in the house. Single-use batteries are a very prominent thing, and when they're used once, they just go into the landfill. But with reusable batteries, obviously you can reuse them, but they do take longer to charge, and they could potentially, people don't want to have to use their electricity to charge them, because it would cost them money. So they just buy them single-use and they just go into the landfill. So this is why we thought reusable batteries would be perfect for our eco home. We think that water waste is a very problematic issue, given 1.7 trillion gallons of water is wasted every year. Because of this, we've thought of a water filter to integrate into the house's system. When it comes down from the loft in a water tank up top, when it's and it's connected and collected from all of the different rooms in your house and where you may have used it, most of the water is filtered out to be reused again and maybe to be heated up but only a small amount is wasted to go back into the sewers compared to what would usually happen and as the water is used, 
All of it is wasted and goes straight into the service. We designed some gym equipment to generate electricity and to give you information about your health and well-being. When you use this equipment, it will tell your smartwatch how far you have gone or how much exercise you've done, how much you've burned off. And when you eat something from your fridge, there will be like a camera to, to log the food you've eat, eaten and it will go to your smartwatch to tell you how much exercise you need to do and it will also go to the pen, Peloton type bike and um, treadmill to tell you how much you need to do. Bulbs are high wattage and use a lot of electricity, therefore cost you more money and you may not get as much light from bulbs. LEDs are more widely used and you cannot smash them and lamp chains are not required, meaning there is less chance of breakage. So we add the picture at the end. Thanks, Thanks for watching, watching. we hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed our video. video.